Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. Today we are continuing the Trophy Hunter character build playthrough. In the description is a list of the guidelines for the character build. Now with that, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Let's get this started. Now I did save one more time right after that to change the time. So it is a different time than when I left off, but the stats are the same. The money, the junk collected, everything's the same. I just wanted to start the episode on a fresh day, which I should have done the first save. Alright, so I do need to eat. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, so now we're going to go get a sidearm. Uh, 44 and we're going to be doing another quick run through of uh, Sanctuary Got plenty of carry space So we're still needing, well I don't know how much we need, but I'm guessing we're still needing copper, oil, probably rubber, aluminum, we're still needing a few things. This is going to be a very heavy copper run if all goes well. I don't think any of those things are here. I can't picture any of it. Now I can go there, back to Wicked Shipping, and collect more oil, and perhaps a little bit of copper, but I'm not going to, at least yet. I might if I get desperate. Now also at that location there is a glitch. A lot of times, if you clear it out when you return, some things will respawn. Not everything, but some things will respawn. Alright, well. 
And we're going to go back in there just for that. So I'm going to get the 44 first. Let's see what do I have to eat. And I got a sweet roll. Should be a a wild dog just right up here. We'll leave the stags alone. So just along the coast here, or the shore, is a water pump. And we'll follow that line. And here we are. Now there are some... Groundhogs to the right and raiders to the left. Spotted me. One did. Whoa, I did not mean to throw a grenade for one. Hey, a telephone, nice. Well, I lost one of my kills. I'm gonna leave the here it is. the raiders alone. All right, let's go ahead and take a blood blood pack. Over. So again, we're looking for copper, rubber, oil.
anything and everything we missed of of uh, need and value. Right. This house is definitely clear. I will need. I better not be too picky about my ceramic. when you need ceramic it's embarrassing because it's all over the place you just you stop picking it up after a while alright Just going to do a quick sweep. I did not get a dog food, that's okay. Alright, let's take a buff out. We still have quite a bit to check and we're already over encumbered a bit so now we definitely need to be prioritizing and move fast Oil and copper. Pretty sure I got it. everything here. Nope. Let's go ahead and grab that. What am I looking like? Uh, Ten more pounds. Typewriter's tempting. There's some oil. Let's 
typewriter is tempting. Yep. All right. There's still some decent stuff here. The typewriters, the fan. close. Last one. Dog food. The gear. Okay, and there's a toolbox right here. All right. Now, I definitely would call that a good run. What do y'all think? Pretty much cleared Sanctuary out. Got the 44. Almost died a couple of times. Once I get to that uh, cooking station, I'm going to be unloading food. Oh, that's okay. That is okay. Whoa. I'm going to go get that meat. All right, there's also a glitch with this place too. Uh, the hot plate and the lantern, as well as the items in the suitcase will respawn as well. So if I wanted to take advantage of that, I could really load up on circuitry and oil just between some of the places in this area that will do that too. So let's go ahead and... Do I got any just straight... Nope, I don't have any straight wood. Now you can put leave a little oil here if you like. For, uh, here's some wood. 
but I want those gears. Uh, for your cooking, because there is one, maybe two recipes. You know what, I'll leave this here. That require oil. I need to leave a cram. Oh, fly meat. All that meat. Let's see how that does. Actually, I know it won't be enough. Now that I'm thinking about it. So, the cram, the dirty water. Don't need the gourd either. The instant mash, pork and beans, the steak, the sugar bombs. I'll leave one water. Now let's see if that's enough. flour the right away low fly glands more rat teeth nice when you're having to stock your workshops based upon it's a useful item to have in that workshop but I don't need it in there right now but because of my carry weight it makes sense to store it there so now with the glass that I have there the cloth that I have there and the oil now I can make a, a monolift cocktail, so just adds up. This is enough copper because I'm planning on building the radio tower, also the medium power generator. medium. I, I think it's water pump. I can't grab this. Here's some more rubber.
All right. continue to get ready for the settlers. So first with defense, let's build a guard post. And then next to the guard post, I like to put a doghouse. As well as a Bedroll. One thing that is a, I don't know, I think it's pretty necessary. is a workout bench. This item is great for, uh, as it, you can see it produces happiness, but it also, all your settlers will congregate around it. And they're just really good to have and they're very useful. After, after hours, when everyone's done working, they uh, go meet there. Let's go ahead and put a scavenging station right here. Now this is going to be a warehouse. for making ammunition. So we can't make it that quite yet, but that is uh, pretty much the whole reason why there's points in intelligence, because I use the bobble heads to cap my trees, so the last perk I want is science. And with this build, the only reason to do that is to make your own ammunition. Uh, there's another reason for having science in this type of build, which is for making scopes, the later version scopes, night vision, so on. But at the same time, you can pick those off of other weapons throughout the game just so easily. Having that perk just to create scopes really doesn't make a lot of sense. So if you're kind of wondering why I have science in this build, that's the reason. I need science. 
to create the ammunition. So it just will make life a little easier having that plan going. All right, so we've got defense, we've got farming, we got some scavenging, we got beds, we just need water and now settlers. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to put down will be the water. Or maybe I should put down the power plant first. Now, when I get going, I do like to put them side by side back here. That's why I'm kind of doing it this way. And then typically one of these, like right in the middle right here, and everything connects to this. Can I do both? I don't know. Can I, I can't do all three. So here's the water. And now I have to choose. Do I want home? This is not a problem. This is not a problem. There's copper right here. And rubber. Right here. So I'm going to wait on the other one. Because honestly, this is all I need right now. I'll set it up right there. Pretty close. There we are. Let's go ahead and under furniture, miscellaneous, and we're looking for sinks. So with that, we now have running water. I don't remember if the top one had one or not. I don't think so. Yeah, no. J 
just using the plumbing that's already there. That's all I'm doing. And the people definitely appreciate it. Alright, so we just got that mission. There is a good chance we might do it. Mainly, it's a very good source of resources as well as a free radiation suit. So there's a very good chance I'm going to do that quest. Uh, that may be one of the only quests I am going to be doing. There's maybe a few more, but did they go straight to uh, security? She looks all business. She's got. She, she definitely uh, seems all business. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah. Well. So, that's kind of a bummer for me. I'll put some food in here. I really was hoping they'd go to farming. I can move them if I want. Employment opportunities await at Cambridge Polymer Lab. Okay, finally got it. Finally got it. I forgot what I was saying now. That whole thing. But, uh, yeah, so we got the water. Now one thing I like to do is a water fountain. Or sink, doesn't really matter. Right in here. That way I don't have to go running around looking for looking for one. See, now by putting food in the workshop, it's no longer red. So I'm hoping to attract another settler that way. If not, I might have to go get some food and stick it in there, which is good. People will use the resources to an extent. All right, so I've got this place needs to be adjusted a little bit. There's actually no bed in here. Yeah. 
And I think the best bet in the game is uh, these beds right here. They are the cheapest. And they are a clean, good bed. I don't think anything else really has to be adjusted. Things can be cleaned up a little bit. Like this. I think that's about good for now. There's one more. Nope, two more. And then the uh just the spring right here. And now it's good. Still only got one person, that's okay. I don't have any ammo to give them. Well, I got nine. Could put him in the army fatigues right away. And give him a security baton. So I have to wait for a sidearm. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. And I, I just to want wait to trade for a, a rifle. Sure. I will put that on them now, though. All right. She's looking good. She just needs a rifle and a sidearm. And a few, little bit more, but she's good. All right. I'm going to call the episode here. This time I'm going to set my time right. So it's going to be for tomorrow. Well, if you enjoyed, please give a thumbs up. Also, if this is content you enjoy watching.
I got weakness. Bummer. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you can get the videos as they also come out. Thank you very much for joining me and have a wonderful rest of your day.